Hey everyone, welcome back to NutriLife. Today we're diving deep into mindful eating and how it can be your secret weapon for weight loss. We're talking about simple yet powerful hacks that can help you transform your relationship with food and reach your health goals. Have you ever noticed how you tend to eat when you're stressed or in a hurry? Yeah, me too. We inhale our food without even really tasting it. The first hack is to slow down. When you eat slowly, you give your brain time to catch up and register that you're actually full. This can prevent overeating and those dreaded feelings of regret we've all experienced after, you know, finishing that entire pizza in one sitting. It takes about 20 minutes for your brain to receive the signal from your stomach that it's full. So by slowing down your eating, you're giving your brain a fighting chance to say, okay, I'm good, time to put the fork down. Plus when you eat slowly, you actually savor your food more. You appreciate the flavors, the textures, the whole experience. Try setting a timer for 20 minutes during your next meal and see if you can make it last. All right, let's talk about portion control. Now, I'm not a fan of restrictive diets. In fact, I believe you can enjoy all foods in moderation. The key here is moderation. And that's where portion control comes in handy. It's not about depriving yourself. It's about being mindful of how much you're consuming. One helpful trick is to use smaller plates. Our brains tend to associate a full plate with a satisfying meal. So by using a smaller plate, you can trick your mind into thinking you're eating more than you actually are. Don't worry, you can always go back for seconds if you're genuinely still hungry. Another useful tip is to be mindful of serving sizes. Food labels can be your best friend here. We all know staying hydrated is important, but did you know that drinking water before meals can actually help with weight loss? It's true. Often, when we think we're hungry, we're actually just thirsty. So, before you dig into your next meal, try drinking a large glass of water. This will help to fill up your stomach, making you feel less hungry and preventing you from overeating. Plus, water is calorie-free and super refreshing. By filling up on water first, you're less likely to overindulge when you start eating your meal. It's like that old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Chapter 4. Digital Detox – The Power of Distraction-Free Dining Let's be real. In today's world, distractions are everywhere. We're constantly bombarded with notifications, emails, and the urge to scroll through social media. And you know what? This can seriously mess with our eating habits. When we eat while distracted, we're not fully present in the moment. We're not paying attention to our food, and we're more likely to overeat. So, for this next hack, I challenge you to create a distraction-free dining experience. Turn off the TV, put your phone away, yes, even if it's just on silent, and close your laptop. Focus on your food. Pay attention to the taste, the smell, the textures. Engage all your senses. You might be surprised at how much more you enjoy your meals when you're not multitasking. Chapter 5. Tune into your body. Recognizing hunger and fullness cues. Our bodies are amazing machines, constantly sending us signals about what they need. The problem is, we're often not listening. We become so accustomed to external cues telling us when to eat, like the time on the clock or the sight of food, that we've lost touch with our internal cues. One of the most powerful aspects of mindful eating is learning to recognize your body's natural hunger and fullness signals. Before you eat, ask yourself, am I actually hungry or am I just bored, stressed, or emotional? Pay attention to how your body feels when it's truly hungry. Learning to distinguish between true hunger and emotional hunger can be a game changer in your weight loss journey. Chapter 6. Whole Foods. Whole health nourishing your body from the inside out. When it comes to weight loss and overall health, what you eat matters. And one of the best things you can do for your body is to focus on consuming more whole, unprocessed foods. Think fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. These foods are packed with essential nutrients, fiber, and antioxidants that your body needs to thrive. They provide sustained energy, support healthy digestion, and can even help to regulate your appetite. But by making whole foods the foundation of your diet, you'll be providing your body with the nourishment it needs to function at its best. Snacking often gets a bad rap, but it can actually be a helpful tool for weight management when done mindfully. The key is to choose snacks that are both satisfying and nutritious. 
Instead of reaching for that bag of chips or candy bar when hunger strikes, opt for snacks that provide a balance of protein, healthy fats, and fiber. Some of my favorite mindful snack options include Greek yogurt with berries, a handful of almonds or walnuts, a piece of fruit with nut butter, or veggie sticks with hummus. These snacks are not only delicious but also provide a good source of nutrients that will keep you going until your next meal. Let's face it, life can get busy, and when you're short on time, it's easy to make unhealthy food choices. That's where meal prepping comes in. By taking some time each week to plan and prepare your meals in advance, you're setting yourself up for success. When you have healthy meals and snacks readily available, you're less likely to reach for those convenient, processed options. Plus, meal prepping can save you time and money in the long run. Start by setting aside a couple of hours each week to plan out your meals and make a grocery list. Keeping a food journal might seem tedious, but it can be an incredibly eye-opening experience. It's not about obsessing over every calorie, but rather bringing awareness to your eating habits. When you track what you eat, you start to notice patterns and triggers that might be contributing to unhealthy choices. Maybe you realize you tend to overeat when you're stressed or tired, or maybe you discover that you're not eating enough fruits and vegetables. This awareness is key to making positive changes. It allows you to identify areas where you can make healthier choices and develop a deeper understanding of your relationship with food. Even doing it for a week or two can provide valuable insights. Chapter 10. Savor the Flavor. Rediscovering the Joy of Eating. Eating should be an enjoyable experience, not a source of stress or guilt. Yet somewhere along the way, many of us have lost touch with the simple pleasure of savoring our food. We inhale our meals without really tasting them, focusing on everything but the food in front of us. Mindful eating is about bringing joy back to the table. It's about engaging all your senses, sight, smell, taste, touch, even sound and appreciating the flavors, textures, and aromas of your food. Next time you sit down to eat, take a moment to really look at your food. Notice the colors, the arrangement, the steam rising from the dish. Chapter 11, Sugar Savvy, Reducing Sugar for a Healthier You. We all have a sweet tooth, but excessive sugar intake can wreak havoc on our health and waistlines. From weight gain and inflammation to increased risk of chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and heart disease, sugar is often lurking in many processed foods and drinks. Reducing your sugar intake is one of the most impactful things you can do for your health and weight loss goals. Start by becoming aware of hidden sugars in processed foods and drinks. Read food labels carefully and look for added sugars like high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, and dextrose. Your taste buds will adjust over time and you might even find yourself craving less sugar overall. Chapter 12. Consistency is key. The importance of regular mealtimes. Our bodies thrive on routine, and that includes our eating patterns. Establishing regular mealtimes can help regulate your hunger hormones, stabilize blood sugar levels, and prevent overeating. When you eat at consistent times each day, your body gets used to a certain rhythm and knows when to expect fuel. This can help to prevent those extreme hunger pangs that can lead to unhealthy food choices. Aim to eat breakfast within a couple of hours of waking up and space your meals and snacks evenly throughout the day. Your body will thank you for it. So there you have it, 12 mindful eating hacks that can revolutionize your weight loss journey. Remember, it's not about restriction or deprivation, but about making conscious choices that nourish your body and support your goals. Start by incorporating one or two of these hacks into your daily routine and gradually add more as you feel comfortable. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress along the way. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend who might benefit from it. Until next time, stay healthy and keep those minds and bodies nourished.